Our fifth video, we are going to see how you build the hierarchy of pegs. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the drawings. The drawings are that row of blue boxes that we made at the very first video. I'm going to highlight all of these. Command Shift P. And that puts Command Shift P or Control Shift P puts a peg on every drawing and it gives it the same name as the drawing below. And you can see that we have B ear and B ear peg. Okay, now starting from the eye, I want to build a little bit of hierarchy in this eye. So I'm going to select this peg and do Command P or Control P on the Mac twice. I'm going to attach the pupil to the first one and the brow to the second one. So now if I select the pupil, it parents up to the pupil and the eye, and that parents up to the pupil, eye, and brow. And I'm going to rename that one FI Master Peg. I don't need caps there. Master Peg. I'm going to do the same with this eye. Command P, Command P. And the second one is going to be at bi master underscore master peg. Okay. Now, I'm going to put a peg above the bi master peg by selecting it, command P. And we're going to call this the, this one is going to be now called the face master peg. And anything that's face related, or let me just put these on there. The pupil goes to this one, and the brow goes to this one. Now, anything that needs to go to the face, like both of the you, both of your eyes are on your face, your nose is on your face, and your mouth is on your face. Now I have a master peg that can control all of those elements together. If I parent it up, and you can see it by pressing B, it goes to the the pupil and the the eye. B, it goes to the entire eye, and B, it now grabs everything below it. So now I have a face master peg. Above that, Command P, I can make this the head master peg. And on the head master peg, I, I might add, I'll add the hair. I'll add both of the ears, the B ear and the F ear, and I will add the head. So all of that goes to the headmaster peg. We've added the head, the ear, one ear, the other ear, the mouth, I mean, and the face peg and the hair peg. Now above the headmaster peg, command P, I'm going to make an upper body peg. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to make a head and neck master peg. And now we have this head master peg going to it, as well as just the neck. So we're just going to have one element going to the head and neck master peg. I can put the Above the head and neck master peg, command P. I can do an upper body master peg. And I will send the cable down to the torso. And we're going to add these arms, but before we add the arms, we're going to add a little bit of parenting to them. F upper arm and the F lower arm. I'm going to do Command Shift P. And the hand is going to go to the lower arm. And the lower arm is going to go to the upper arm. You're always going to have you know, your five pegs. Two and then a, a master peg. So we're going to have this now become the F upper arm master peg. And I'll do the same thing with this one. I'm going to select the upper arm and lower arm, command shift P, oh, sorry, command shift P, the hand goes to the lower arm, because as you know, looking at your body, your hand is attached to the lower arm, 
and the lower arm gets attached to the upper arm. And we'll do the same thing. B upper arm, master peg. Now both of these master pegs for the arms can go to our upper body master peg. And then I'm going to set one more peg above this, command P. And I'm going to just write, on this one I'm going to call it character name here. Because this is where you're going to add the character's name when we get to that stage. So I'm just, as a placeholder, I'm just going to write character name here. Right beside this peg, command P, or control P on the uh, windows, I'm going to call this the lower body master peg. And I'm going to attach the that there. And I'm going to do the same thing with both of the hips is going to go to the lower body master peg. And I'm going to set up the two legs, upper and lower, command shift P, upper and lower, command shift P. The foot goes to the lower leg, the foot goes to the lower leg, and the lower leg goes to the upper leg. And we're just going to call this Okay. I'll just copy that lettering, copy, open up this one, and I'll just paste that lettering in there. And both of those legs can now go up to the lower body master and lower body master. And that leaves us with a nice, clean, upper, I mean, um, blank rig template with all of the drawings and all of the pegs.